Good day students, welcome to math.surf.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over problems 109 to 113, parts one of the KC measurement um, and geometry uh, release questions. All right, let's take a look at problem 109. It says one millimeter is, so we have different options here. But one thing you want to note is that all the options are in meters. So in this problem, we are converting from millimeter to meter. So how many um, meters are there in one millimeter? That's the question. Okay. So in order to do this, there are some facts you have to have uh, memorized, which is as follows. Um, one centimeter. is equal to 10 millimeters, okay? And then um, one decimeter is equal to 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters. And lastly, one meter is equal to 10 decimeters. Okay. So what these conversion factors help you do is they help you go from millimeters all the way from millimeters all the way to meters. Okay. So there's a song that you can memorize to help you remember this um, this uh, conversion um, factors right here. Uh, the song is as follows. It goes this way. Millimeter, centimeter, decimeter, meter. Let's sing it again. It's millimeter, centimeter, decimeter, meter. So if you um, go over that song, I know it's a weird song, pay probably 50 to 60 times, um, it should stick in your mind. All right. So this uh, is a very powerful um, tool right here that can help you convert from meters to decimeters, meters to centimeters, millimeters to centimeters or decimeters decimeters to centimeters, millimeters or meters. So there's a lot you can do here. But in this problem, what we're doing is we're going from millimeter to meters. So how do you go from millimeters to meters? That's the question. So um, if you're going from millimeters to meters, it is not a direct conversion. You have to go from millimeters to uh, centimeters. And then from centimeters, you have to go to decimeters, decimeters. <laughs> and then from decimeters, you have to go to meters, to meters, okay? All right, so um, how do we do this? This is a lot of conversion happening here from millimeter all the way to meters. Um, in order to do this, we're just simply going to use this conversion factor that we have here. Remember, you go millimeter, centimeter, decimeter, meter, okay? So starting with one millimeter, <clears throat> I'm going to use the abbreviation, okay? Millimeter is mm, centimeter is cm, decimeter dm, and a meter is just m, okay? All right, so we'll start with um, one millimeter. I want to end up with a number with meters. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is go from millimeters all the way from millimeters to centimeter. Now, how do you go from millimeter to centimeter? You multiply by a conversion factor. Okay, so what's the relationship between centimeters and millimeters? One centimeter is 10 millimeters. Now, do I put a centimeter on top and a millimeter on the bottom? Or millimeter on the top and centimeter on the bottom. I'm going from millimeter to centimeter, so I'm, I need the millimeter to cancel out. If I have the millimeter on top, then I want the millimeter on the bottom so that it cancels out. So I put 10 millimeters is one centimeter. This uh, product right here helps you go from millimeter to centimeter because see, this millimeters cancel out and you have one tenth of a centimeter is one millimeter. But that's not where we're going. We still have to keep going. Now we have to go from centimeter to decimeter. Now, where am I going to put the centimeter? 
since I want the centimeter to cancel out, I'll put the centimeter on the bottom and decimeter on the top. One decimeter is 10 centimeters. So one decimeter is 10 centimeters. Okay? Now this whole thing takes you from millimeters to decimeters, but that's not what we want. We have to keep going all the way to meters, okay? So um, I need decimeters to cancel out. I need meters left. So I'll have for every one meter right here, you have what? 10 decimeters like that, okay? Now this um, product right here will help you convert from millimeters to uh, meters. So let's see what happens. Now watch the cancellation of the units closely. Millimeter, cancel out millimeter. Centimeter and centimeter cancel out. Decimeter and decimeter cancel out. What is the only unit we're left with? Meters, that's exactly what we want. But we also have to multiply the numbers, okay? Multiply the numerator horizontally, one times one times one, one. And then the denominator, 10 times 10 times 10 is 8,000 unit is meters okay so one millimeter is a thousand of a meter option letter a all right let's take a look at number 110 so for 110 a boy is two meters tall about how tall is the boy in feet and inches so in this problem we're going from um, meters to inches and then to feet so basically we are starting from uh, meters and we're going to go to a combination of um, feet and inches okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go to keep it simple we're going to go from meters from meters um, to inches And then from inches to feet, to feet and inches, okay? A combination of feet and inches. Now, why are we using this pattern? Well, it is because we are provided with a conversion factor from meters to inches so that we have to take that step first. And then um, we can go from uh, inches all the way to feet, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and start off. We're going to go from, uh, we're going to do the first step from meters to inches. So we start with two meters. Now we have to multiply by the conversion factor that changes meters to inches. Now, uh, so we have one meter to 39 inches. Where do we put the meter, on the top or the bottom? Since we want the meter to cancel out, we put one meter on the bottom and 39 inches on the top, okay? Now this product helps you go from two meters to inches, but um, we also have to go further. Uh, we have to go from um, inches all the way um, to feet. Now, how do you go from inches to feet? Remember that you have in um, one foot, you have 12 inches, okay? One foot, you have 12 inches. Now, to convert this all the way to, to feet, we want the inches to cancel out. So we put 12 inches down here and one foot up here. This product helps you convert from meters to feet. Okay, so let's reduce that. See the meters cancel out, inches cancel out. We'll multiply across horizontally two times 39 is 78 over 12, and this is feet. If you look at the options we have here, we have a combination of feet and inches. So let's divide this to see how many feet we have, and then the fractional or the remainder piece will be our uh, component to be converted to inches, okay? So let's divide it out, 12 divided by 78. 12 goes into 78 six times. Six times 12, 72. Subtracted, you have six. So this becomes six feet, six remainder six over 12 feet. Okay. Now, 
six over twelve feet is basically half of a half of a feet, like half of a foot. So let's let's reduce that to so six and a half feet. So if I wanted to convert half a feet to inches, what would that be? Since one whole foot is 12 inches, guess what? Half of a foot is going to be six inches. It's going to be half of 12. So six and a half feet is the same thing as six feet and um, six inches. All right, so our answer is option letter B. All right, let's take a look at number 111. It says, Juanita exercised for one hour. How many seconds did Juanita exercise? So in this problem, we're converting from um, hours to seconds. So we're going from hours um, to seconds. That's the conversion uh, direction that we're taking here. So let's think about this. Um, how many hours are there in a second? Well, it, in this problem, we do not have a direct connection, okay? Because in between we have, we have um, another time measurement. So for this problem, we're going to be going from um, hour, hours. We have to take a detour, we have to go to minutes. And then from minutes, we go to seconds. Okay, I know some of you already know what this is mentally, but I want to show you the steps um, on how to do this. Okay, so we have hours, we have minutes, and we have seconds. Okay, so what are our conversion factors? We know that one hour is equal to um, 60 minutes. And then we know that in one minute, there are 60 seconds right okay so let's go ahead and uh, carry out the conversion remember when it exercise for just one hour and we'll try to find the seconds equivalent of one hour all right so let's go ahead and do it we have <clears throat> we're starting from one hour now how do we convert one hour to minutes we have to multiply it by a conversion factor so um, we have one hour equals 60 minutes. Am I going to put the one hour on the top or on the bottom? Since I want the hours to cancel out, I'll put a one hour on the bottom and then 60 minutes on the top. Now this, this uh, product here helps me go from hours to minutes. Now if I want to go from minutes to seconds, I have to multiply by another conversion factor. So this is minutes, what will I want from the bottom here? Minutes per second. So this is minutes, I need a one minute at the bottom so that it cancels out with the minutes and I'm left with seconds, okay? But I know that one minute is equivalent to 60 seconds, so I have one minute, 60 seconds. Now watch what happens with the units. This hour and this hour divide out. This minute and this minute divides out. And you're left with seconds. That's exactly what we want, right? So multiplying uh, horizontally across 1 times 60 times 60, 60 times 60, 0 times 0, 0, 0 times 0, 0, 6 times 0, 0, 6 times 6, 36. If you add it down, you have 3,600. So we're going to have 3,600 seconds in one hour, okay? So our answer is option letter B. All right, let's take a look at um, problem number 112. It says if Jill is driving at 65 miles per hour, what is her approximate speed in kilometers per hour? So uh, we have 65 miles per hour, and we ask for her speed in kilometers per hour. So what is the conversion that's taking place here? The only thing that's changing is the unit of distance. We're going from meters to kilometers. So this problem is simply asking us to convert 65 uh, miles into kilometers. So this problem is a miles to kilometers 
conversion. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, do the conversion. We have the conversion factor here, which is nice. So let's go ahead and do the conversion. So we have, um, let's see, we're starting with 65, 65 miles, and we want to convert this into kilometers. So we're going to multiply by conversion factor. We have one mile to 1.6 kilometers. Where do we put the mile, on the top or on the bottom? Since we need miles to cancel out, we have to put mile, one mile on the bottom here, so that these two miles cancel out, okay? So for every one mile, we have 1.6 kilometers. Now, notice what happens with the units. This mile and this mile cancel out. If we multiply these two numbers, that would give us the kilometer equivalent of 65 miles, okay? So let's go ahead and multiply 65 times 1.6. So we're multiplying the decimals here. So let's go ahead and do it. 6 times 5 is 30. 0 carry 3. 6 times 6 is 36 plus 3 is 39. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 6 is 6. Okay? So we added 0. 9 plus 5 is 14. 4 carry 1. 4 plus 6 is 10. Now where do we put the decimal point? The number of digits behind the decimal point will tell us how many um, digits we have to have uh, behind the decimal point. Since we have only one digit, we're going to move the decimal point forward only one place. We're just going to have one digit of the solution behind the decimal point. So our answer is, this is an approximation, it's approximately 104 kilometers per hour. Okay, so 65 miles per, per hour is the same thing as 104 kilometers per hour. Answer is option letter C. Okay, let's take a look at problem 113. It says in Sacramento, the temperature at noon was 35 degrees Celsius. What was the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit? So in this problem, we're going from um, Celsius to um, degrees Fahrenheit, okay? We have a formula that has been provided for us to use to carry out our conversion. So we're just simply going to implement this formula, okay? The formula is F equals 9 over 5 C plus 32. Now, how are we going to use this to find the Fahrenheit equivalent of 35 degrees Celsius? What we do is we're simply going to take the degree Celsius measure and substitute it into C and the formula right here. Okay? So the Fahrenheit measure equivalent of 35 degrees Celsius is going to be 9 over 5 times 35 plus 32. Okay? So let's go ahead and simplify this. Put this over 1. Now, 5 goes into 35, right? So 5 goes here 1. 5 goes here 7 times. And then 9 times um, nine times 7 is 63. So F is equal to 63 plus 32. And then our final answer is going to be 95 degrees Celsius. Answer to number 113 is option letter B. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. Please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we are still working on more of this review tutorial. So if you want to get updates to our um, um, instant updates to the next parts of this review series, please subscribe and you'll get an instant notification. Uh, more clips can be found on mathcodeserve.com. We have worksheets and other strategies to help you um, pass your exam and also with other math courses ranging from algebra all the way to calculus. So do, go, do visit our site for that information. If you have any questions, comments, or uh, help that you need, include it in the comment section below and we'll be glad to assist you as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.